Welcome to Geek Do-It-Yourself Mechanic. The purpose of this video is to discuss pull-up and pull-down resistors. If you have watched any of Scanner Danner's videos, you would have heard him discuss the concepts of pull-up and pull-down circuits. This topic is totally different. Again, a pull-up and pull-down resistor and a pull-up and pull-down circuit are different. I almost didn't want to publish this video since it might confuse some people. But I have seen the pull-up and pull-down resistors in numerous automobile wiring diagrams. You really need to understand what a pull-up and pull-down resistors do so that you can properly assess a circuit's integrity. Therefore, I researched why this configuration was used like so often in computer controller circuits. I thought if it helped me understand these concepts, perhaps it could be helpful for others as well. From the home page, let's navigate to electronics. Knowledge, electronics. As a prerequisite, it is suggested that you have read and studied the following. Alan Bonnick's book, Barry Hollenbeek's book, Auto Shop 101, Physics Classroom. At a, min at a minimum, I suggest studying either Auto Shop 101 or the Physics Classroom before continuing on in this video. It would be helpful if you had a decent understanding of power, ground, voltage drop, current, open circuits. This discussion is intended to be supplemental to these materials by highlighting topics that I have found helpful when analyzing and working with automobile circuits. Let's navigate to electronic concepts. Again, this website leverages Paul Falstead's Java Applet Analog Circuit Simulator. We will discuss pull-up and pull-down resistors. So let's begin by clicking up the pull-down, pull-down, pull-up, pull-down button. Let me describe what is being depicted. There are two circuits at the top. In this case, for simplicity, I'm going with a two-wire input device, a switch. The PCM is sensing the state of the switch, but this external circuit could be a sensor like a thermistor or could be an actuator, like a control leg of a relay. The left diagram represents a circuit leveraging a pull-up resistor configuration. The right diagram represents a circuit leveraging a pull-down resistor configuration. At the bottom of the screen, is voltage traces of what the PCM voltage sense circuit is reading. Test, point, test points 1 and test points 3 are voltage sensing circuits inside the PCM. 1, 3, and they're down here. 1 and 3. Test points 2 and 4 are in the PCM side of the connector. Why do designers of automobile circuits use either a pull-up or pull-down resistor configuration? Well, from my research, it is so when the external circuit is open, 
the voltage sense circuit will be in a known stable state. If these two resistors were not used, the voltage sense circuit would be in an unstable state, meaning the voltage sense circuit could be reading a fictitious value. For example, on my fluke meter, if I set it up to read voltage and just have the probes in the air and shake them, I will get a small voltage reading. This is what I'm referring to, and I call them ghost readings. Let's look at this video of me, of me demonstrating this behavior. As you can see, my DVM is set to read voltage. I'm waving the test leads in the air. Notice that voltage is being sensed. Then, when I connect the two test leads together, the voltage goes to a stable state of zero. You have, you have just witnessed ghosting. Who are you going to call? Sorry, just had to do it. Getting back to the two circuit configurations, let's visually inspect the difference between these two circuits. I'm going to move the PCM block so the circuit is easier to see. Notice the difference is where the power sources are located in these two circuits in regards to the voltage sensing circuit. Notice the pull-up resistor sits between the power and the voltage sense circuit. Whereas the pull-down resistor sits between the voltage sense circuit and ground. Let's play with these circuits to see how they differ in behavior when the external circuit is in an open state. So right now, test points 1 and 2 are at 0. And when I open it, disconnect the sensor or there's an open, goes to, goes to 5 volts. This is 5 volts here, even though it's lower. When the circuit pull-up resistor on the with the circuit pull-up resistor on the left, if the switch is in the open state, which could represent either a switch being open or an open in the sensor wire, test points one and two go high five volts. Remember, since there is no current flow, there is no voltage drop, so the sense voltage is five volts. Now, if we close the switch or repair the open, you will see that the pull-up resistor consumes all the voltage and what is sensed is low ground. In summary, with a circuit utilizing a pull-up resistor and the external circuit does not contain an open, the sense voltage is low ground. When the switch is open, the sense voltage is pulled up to 5 volts. Let's move on to the pull down resistor on the right. With the, cir with the circuit pull down resistor on the right, if the, if the external circuit contains an open, which could represent either the switch being open or an open in the sensor wire, test points 3 and 4 will go low. And they are. They're low. Now, if we close this switch or repair the open, a full 5 volts is sensed. 5 volts. 
by volts. In summary, with a circuit utilizing a pull-down resistor and an external circuit does not contain an open, the sense voltage is high, 5 volts. But, if the external circuit does contain an open, the sense voltage is pulled down to zero ground. Again, these two circuit designs are used to set the voltage sensed by the, sensed by the PCM to a known stable value when the external side of the PCM circuit is open. Now that we have a decent understanding of these two circuits, let's look at some example circuits that use them. Let's first look at a sensor circuit. So we will navigate to electronics, sensors, resistance type sensor. Looking at the circuit, how is it using the resistor just before the voltage sensing portion? Well, let's disconnect the sensor and see what happens. After disconnect, disconnecting the sensor, the voltage goes high. Therefore, this configuration is a pull-up resistor configuration. To be honest, this pull-up resistor accomplishes two things. The first allows the PCM to detect the condition of an open in the sensor circuit. The second is that it allows the voltage sensing portion of the circuit to properly sense a resistance type sensor, example like a thermistor. To learn more about this type circuit, please view the sensor type video. Now that we have seen how a pull-up resistor is used in a sensor circuit, let's see how a signaling circuit can leverage a pull-up resistor. So let's navigate to electronics, signaling concepts, relay bias voltage. Let's look at the circuit to see how it works. In its simplest state, when the PCM closes the control switch, the pump will turn on. But, how can the PCM detect if there is any open in the control circuit? I will cause an open in the circuit. No matter the state of the PCM, whether it is in an open or closed state, the sensed value at test point 1, which is the voltage sense, is at 5 volts. Notice that. It doesn't matter which condition it's in. When there's an open outside the PCM, it's at 5 volts. Pretty neat, huh? Again, it is at 5 volts since there is no voltage drop across resistors when there is no current. The observant watcher might be wondering why when the PCM switch is open, open, and there is no open in the circuit, this is closed, there's no open, why doesn't the relay close? Why isn't this pump on? It is because the pull-up resistor used to implement the 
pull-up resistor is 100k ohms. This large resistor won't allow enough current to flow to the relay to energize it. This is intentional. I wanted to highlight this since if you watch a fair amount of Scanner Danner videos, you would have heard him refer to the concept of bias voltages. This circuit shows one way a bias voltage can be present. Please look for future videos that discuss how to diagnose a circuit using this configuration. If you are not aware of bias voltages, you can be steered the wrong way in your diagnosis since you might think the PCM switch is closed. Hint, a test light is used to determine if the PCM is closing the switch or a bias voltage is present. For review, you have been demonstrated how and why pull-up and pull-down resistors are used. In addition, you have seen one sensor circuit and one signaling circuit using a pull-up resistor in their overall circuit implementations. To be honest, these presented concepts took me a while to understand. I suggest playing with the circuits. This is why Mr. Falsed's circuit simulator is priceless. It allows you to see electricity. I invite you to visit the pages discussed and play with the circuits. Perhaps make modifications to the pull-up and pull-down resistor circuits to see what happens. Likewise, I invite you to modify the resistance type sensor and relay with, relay with a bias voltage circuits to see how they respond. For more information on this topic, please refer to the suggested readings. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful.